All right, guys, just before the video starts, uh, I rambled on quite a bit, as I always do. But the most important part of this video is I need all private hire operators, I need all Hackney drivers, and I need all Liverpool Council LCC drivers I need to send me proof that who they are via email or Instagram. A phone number, yeah? So I can add them into a private WhatsApp group and then their local airport that they work in. So let's see, pop me over an email, send me like say a picture of your ops license, private hire ops license, um, mo name, mobile number, and the local airport, right? Or if you're a Hackney driver or a uh, Liverpool Council driver, send over your, just a picture of your badge to prove that you are, and then just to need your name, your phone number, and your local airport. So if you're in Birmingham, it's Birmingham Airport. If you're in Manchester, it's Manchester. If you're in Liverpool, it's Liverpool. All right, guys, thank you very much. Enjoy the rest of the video for the reason why you need to send all those documents over. Thank you. Hello, guys, how's it going? So, very, very exciting news coming to the channel. And I need you guys to help me out because I'm going to try my best to build like a community-based business around the channel. And I need you guys to help out. And obviously, I'll be sending news worth as well so the basics really is i need all private hire operators in the uk as many as you can as many as you know share the video get everyone to see it as many hackney drivers and as many liverpool lcc drivers liverpool council drivers because obviously i've got a liverpool council operators license so you can work underneath me other than that you need you you need to have um your own operator's license to be able to do this. So, just travel back in time. Before I was a taxi driver, I'd done internet marketing, and my goal was to have my own airport transfer company. When I first started the taxis, build the website, market it, that was my plan. Um, then I found out about operators, I be having an operator's license, making sure only drivers underneath you has to be the same council. It's a lot more complicated than the first thought, so I put a pin in it, I forgot about it. Now, with my YouTube channel, at the moment it is busy, it is boss. Yous are great, do you know what I mean? Everybody watches me, you're boss, you're great. Everyone's boss about it, right? Except, the money I'm bringing in from the channel, yeah, from the sponsorships and the adverts or whatever, can literally go with my YouTube channel. So tomorrow morning, whatever, I don't know what happens, and YouTube just goes boop, and my YouTube account is gone tomorrow. All my income, all my four years of hard work has gone. So I've been thinking of going back down the route of starting my own airport transfer company. And then I was thinking, it's only local. Airport transfer company, Liverpool, it's only local. People watch me in the northeast, south, Midlands. Can't get involved with that, can't benefit from that. So that's where my thought process came when I, when I become an operator myself. I signed up to some of these booking websites which send you work, but they take like huge commissions and they make you bid on the jobs and the lowest bidder gets the job. So it's it's, it's just a not a nice place. When you get your own ops license, there's loads of these websites and they're not that bad, they're not good. You're talking like 50 quid, 45 quid for Liverpool to man here after their fees and stuff. Um, you just never do it. So they're dead busy, but literally I haven't done a single job with them in like how long I've been, three, four weeks, the longer. Just honest to God, it's so bad. So what my thought process is, is I'm gonna create, I'm already creating it by the way. Uh, I reckon it's gonna be launching in early September. Uh, I'm creating a website that is like a booking website. So technically you book on the website, I take a little bit, and then I send the job out to an operator of the local area. So if the job's for like Stansted Airport, the driver's gonna be around that area. Is going to get the job if the job's from Manchester, it's going to be Manchester lads or Liverpool lads. If the job's going back to Liverpool, do you know what I mean? It's going to be local drivers, local operators, local work. That is what my plan is. Now, I'm going to still figure out all the pricing and stuff. So, with the pricing, um, I want to make sure that I can take a little bit for all my work with doing the website, finding getting the jobs covered, booking all the jobs in. It's going to be a lot of admin work for me, replying to emails, blah blah blah. And then what I do, I want the job to land in the operator's hands with enough money for them to be able to do the job or pass it on to one of their drivers, take a little bit themselves and still have enough for the driver. 
So that's all I'm trying to obviously get the maths and all that. It's all early days, yeah. But what I want to do with this video, guys, is I want to be able to collect as many private hire operators, you guys, Hackney drivers and Liverpool Council drivers. All you need to do is send me proof via Instagram or I'll put, me, I'll put an email address below. Send me proof of your operators, proof of your Hackney driver, proof of your Liverpool badge, um, your phone number and your local airport that you cover. So if you live in Liverpool, it's Liverpool Airport. If you're Manchester, it's Manchester. If you're in Birmingham, it's Birmingham. Do you know what I mean? Just tell me your local closed airport. So when I save it in my phone, I'll have your your name, the airport you cover, right? And then what I'll do is when I put the job, I'm gonna get a WhatsApp group going. Um, no one can talk in it, it'll just be a thumb up job. And when I post the job in there, you put your thumb up and I send you the job. That's it, that simple. And then you just get jobs. And then you just pay in the car, um, cash your card whatever you want to sort out with them. That's my plan. So it's going to be like a community-based built airport transfer company with the drivers and the operators in mind um, and put local work back into local hands. That's my plan. It's early days yet, guys. I've just built on the website. It's getting there. Um, hopefully we launch in early September. Um, but yeah, I can't do it without operators. I can't do it with people who cover the work. So I need you to share this video as much as you can. If you're a driver, guys, and you don't do airport work, but you know operators, send the video to them, please. I want to get this video as best as I can viral. And then I want, want people to be able um, to do, accept the work. And then when I get enough people covering all the airports, I can launch the website. Then any money I make off the website, I'm going to put straight back into marketing. I'm not here to make many money at the moment. Cover my costs, pump it back into marketing, and hopefully try and grow a huge business for the future. But not just for me, for everyone who watches me as well. Do you know what I mean? So, guys, just going forward, there's an email address below. Send me on Instagram or wherever you can. Contact me on Facebook if you know me personally, WhatsApp. I need operator's license. Yeah? Acne license. I need an operator, a private hire operator's license or a Hackney license or a Liverpool Council Badge Store license. And then I'll add you into the WhatsApp group. And then going forward, that's it. I'll update you all in the WhatsApp group once you're all in there. Thanks very much, guys. Fingers crossed this pans out. If it doesn't, I'll be gutted. But that's my plan. A community-driven uh, private hire airport transfer company. Thanks very much, guys. Catch you all later.